All right, so what we're talking about today is importing step data in the Pro E. So oftentimes people ask, you know, what is a step file? What does that really mean? Well, step file is kind of the international standard for CAD neutral data. CAD neutral data meaning any CAD system can open it up. I mean, obviously, you probably run into situations where maybe a vendor or a supplier is using a different CAD system than you are. Well, you need a way to communicate, and currently the best way to communicate is through step data. Another common question is, you know, comparing it to IGIS. What's the difference? What's better? What's worse? There are some times where IGIS files come across a little bit cleaner. Um, it just happens to be cert a, a certain thing with that file format or the accuracy of that model. But typically, step is a, has a great advantage over IGIS files because step is the solid body of the component. So it's the actual surfaces and everything that make up the part, as opposed to an IGIS file which is generating surfaces off of almost you could think of like a wireframe. Another thing um, that I always like to share is every C to Pro Engineer has a step translator built in. You don't need to get a new package or upgrade anything. This is stuff that comes with Pro Engineer. So typically when I reach this point in talking about step files, a lot of people uh, often bring up the fact that when they bring in step files to Pro Engineer, there's issues with the files. You know, there's there's surfaces missing, there's gaps, there's holes, there's they can't solidify the design. And if you can't solidify it, there's really no purpose because the mass properties, that they aren't there. Um, you really don't have a, a true model to work with. It's just a bunch of surfaces. So the way that you correct that is through what's called the import data doctor. And this was new inside of Wildfire 4, and it's being continued inside of Wildfire 5 as well. So a lot of people used to use techniques like zip gaps and things. This has really taken over that um, because it, what they try to do is give you a more consistent user interface with the rest of Pro Engineer, so more icon based, a little easier to understand. So there's three main modes inside of the import data doctor. There's the repair mode, the modify mode, and the featureize mode. So these three are kind of used and in, in, uh, interchanged back and forth. You know, unfortunately, there's no one way data is bad or incorrect. So you kind of got to mix and match the different modes to go ahead and correct the data. Also a little more about Import Data Doctor. Uh, there's a lot more information out there. If you search, if you go into the Help Center and you search uh, uh, demo or demonstration or tutorial, you're going to find that uh, there is a Import Data Doctor tutorial. You probably search Import Data Doctor or IDD. That'll be the quickest search. So the next step after actually repairing data, this is another common complaint that I get when talking about step files is that well, I can't really do anything with them. You know, it's it's pretty much static when I bring it in. Um, well, that's absolutely true. Step when imported is, um, you know, kind of uh, I always like to call it dummy data because it it is just that. There's no parametrics. There's no model tree. There's no model history. It's just the data that you brought in. It's an imported feature and nothing more. What the feature recognition tool does is it allows you to kind of add uh, intelligence or functionality to that model. And this can be done with any boundary representation model, uh, including STEP and IGES. But what it gives you the ability to do is convert things. Let's say there's an extrusion on the design. You want to convert it to an actual extrude in Pro Engineer. You can do that. If there's a hole, let's say you wanted to change the location of the holes, you could go ahead and do that as well. So this is a really, really neat functionality because it's allowing you to add intelligence and make changes to is just an imported, imported piece of data. So just kind of some tools and tips uh, for this. Um, I always tell people with the feature recognition tool, start with what's typically the last feature of the model and work backwards. So, um, you know, rounds, chamfers, holes, those types of things, and then move to extrusions. You're going to find that the, the feature recognition tool works a lot better that way. Uh, also, top-level imported features cannot be recognized with the, import uh, with the feature recognition tool. Sorry. Um, so what that means is, you know, if you have a base level extrusion that defines the overall size and shape of your part, the feature recognition tool is not going to be able to recognize that. And then finally, Pro Engineer stops responding to the recognition process. Just click the red stop button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. This will happen every so often if you just kind of maybe wanted to define too many features at once, or you know, there's just an issue with that feature. Um, go ahead and click stop, and it'll it'll stop the process. So. Feature recognition tool is really nice. Um, it does require you to kind of have the, the user and loop functionality, meaning you have to select the things that it's going to define. So talking a little bit about what's new in Wildfire 5 with this step import, um, there's a quite a bit of difference um, just when you're importing the data. You're going to find that the log files, um, you can choose to have them populate in the browser window 
um, in XML format as opposed to just that pop-up window. So if you wanted to actually print that off, you could do that real quickly and easily now. Um, step import supports materials and density information. That's important. Um, being able to uh, have that information if it was given in the model before it was generated as a step file. Also, there's a new wizard built in, and that's what these snapshots are. So uh, what this allows you to do is um, kind of create either um, a template or a format for bringing in this information. So you can control, you know, ATB, you can control templates, you can and control if you want to import as a facet feature or not. All these things are, are selectable when you import the file. And you can create profiles so that maybe people don't know how to toggle these things on or off correctly. You can create a profile just so they can select a profile quickly and easily. Um, this is really, really important because as I'm going to talk about in the next slide, typically on previous versions of Pro Engineer, I find that a lot of our customers are importing step data incorrectly. So I'll cover that in a second. But as far as what else is new inside of Wildfire 5, feature recognition tools built in the Pro-E. In previous uh, Wildfire 4, which was the first version that had the feature recognition tool, you actually had to have a separate download um, to to use the tool. It was a free download. If you search FRT on, on ptc.com, you're going to find that download. It's free, but you had to do that. Inside Wildfire 5, it's built in. Also, uh, the import data doctor, there's a couple things with the workflow change just to kind of simplify the process of using it. And there's a diagnostics wizard built in as well. So those are some of the new things with Wildfire 5 um, in importing step data. So just a couple tips that I usually like to give customers. Um, first off, this is a common question uh, people ask, you know, how do I select what format it brings it in? You know, whether it's AP203, AP214, Pro Engineer automatically detects the best format to import a step file in. So there's no real manual way to control that, but just know that Pro Engineer is going to do its best to select the format that it sees as, as, as best. Um, typically, there's kind of a marker in that file that says what the format was when it was generated, and that's what it's going to look for. Also, uh, Pro Engineer has some file name limitations. I'm sure you've bumped into this in previous versions of Pro E, where if there's spaces in the file name, it's not going to recognize it. As of Wildfire 5, that's no longer an issue. What it's going to do is it's going to add the underscores as you open up the file. But um, in previous versions of Pro E, just know that you want to shy away from having file names with spaces in the file for, for step data and importing data. Also, um, this goes back to pre-Wildfire 5, before you had those templates that you could add on the fly, but um, it is best practice to import a file from a start part or an open part as opposed to just opening the file. And this is what I was talking about in the previous slide. Most of the customers, or a good portion of them, importing step files incorrectly. What they do is they just go ahead and open up the file. And if you've ever done that, you notice that you don't get any datums, you don't get any views or anything else. Well, that's because it's typically not the best way to do it. If you go ahead and open up a start part or start assembly first, you're going to have all the views, you're going to have all the datums. This makes a big difference when you're um, you know, trying to make a drawing or something like that. Now, if you're just opening up the part and you really don't care about that, that's fine. But again, you gain a lot of information from being able to actually have those datums and views as opposed to manually having to create them. So that really goes over what I want to talk about with the PowerPoint. Let's actually go ahead and jump into uh, Pro Engineer now. So this is, uh, first I'm going to show Wildfire 4, just because I want to show just some importing, um, and then we're going to jump into Wildfire 5. I just wanted to go ahead and show, you know, kind of the, the way that some people actually import the step data and then the best way to do it, because there are a good portion of our customers that aren't on Wildfire 5 yet. So let me go ahead and open up a step data. This is something that if you're not familiar with Pro Engineer, make sure you have all file types selected because you're not going to be able to see your step files that you're trying to open up if it's just on Pro Engineer files. Let's go ahead and just open up this caliper first. So this is the old kind of uh, import wizard where you can go ahead and select if it's a part or an assembly. Typically Pro Engineer is going to be really good at selecting the proper um, component here. But um, this is it. There's nothing else. So when we jump into Wildfire 5, you're going to see the difference. All right, so while this is opening up, you're going to see this information window that has popped up. Let me go ahead and bring that back up. Now, typically people um, that are really well versed in imported data can look at this and they can determine the quality of the imported model. Um, to be honest with you, you, that you can do that. But what I typically use um, for this for is determining what system the file was generated in. So um, you're going to find that things that come from SOLIDWORKS typically have a, a common set of issues. Things that come from other so, CAD software have other issues. And you're able to really 
key in on those issues based on again the software so this is going to tell you exactly what software generated that step file and you can also see you know there's the author's name as well the file name and those types of things that's probably the what I use this window for the most is determining what system generated the file and again you can tell by some of these things um, you know if you have some issues with your step file or not I'm not going to go too much into that but just know that 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 is why this file is generated all right, so you can see here's the step file right here. A couple things to keep in mind, like I talked about, it's just an imported feature. There's no other information. There's no model tree or history or anything else. The other thing, like I had said, was typically people are bringing this information in incorrectly in previous versions of Pro-E. So you can see right here, I don't have any datum planes. You know, I have them highlighted. There's nothing there. If I click the view, you're going to see standard and default. That is it. There's no front, side, top, bottom. There's nothing like that because I didn't start out with a start part. So let's go ahead and show what that's going to look like if we start out with a start part first. So let me go ahead and just create a new part here. This is the proper way to bring in step data if you're using anything previous to Wildfire 5. So what you would do is you'd start, you know, a start part. You have your, your datum planes, your views, and everything. And what you'd go is insert, insert shared data from file and now you can go ahead and select that step file. I'm, I'll just do the same one to keep it simple, keep it consistent, but you're going to see you get your log file again and you get an option to choose the coordinate system you want to use. We're just going to keep it as default for right now. And now what it's going to do is it's going to import this information into this start part. So again, what we're going to gain are the datum planes and the views. So you can see right here there's some datum planes, but the big one I really like is the views, you know, back bottom, top, left, right, etc. So you probably want to reorient this so that the views make a little more sense, but again, not having to create those views, it saves a lot of time, especially if you have a model that doesn't have a lot of flat surfaces. You definitely know what I'm talking about, about kind of the, uh, the headaches you could have creating views um, that are truly um, top, you know, bottom, top, right, left, those types of things. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and open up an assembly real quick. I'll go ahead and open it up the, kind of the easy way without the datum planes and things, just kind of show what this looks like as well. So I'll just open this up. Again, you know, Pro Engineer is going to intelligently select assembly. You know, I could choose, you know, some other uh, you know, part if I know it's going to be a part, but in this case, it's just an assembly. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this log file again. And we're going to get, you know, uh, the assembly, all the parts that make up that assembly. But, you know, give it a couple seconds here. What we're going to see from the model tree is all the parts show up in the model tree, but again, it's just imported data. There's no intelligence to it. So we can see the different parts that make up this information, but if I go ahead and actually open up this part, you're going to see it's just an imported feature, nothing more. So that's really uh, kind of what I wanted to show with, with this functionality. What we can do now is we can jump into Wildfire 5. So if you give me one second, we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll talk a little bit about the import data doctor and the feature recognition tool, both of which were available in four. But I just want to go ahead and show five, just because uh, it is it's been off for a while. So most of our customers are going to be on that, and uh, you know typically everyone likes to see the newest version of the software. So let's go ahead and open that up here real quick. 